the skin is the largest organ in the body. And the health of your body and your nutrition status is often reflected in your skin. Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Boham, and today we're going to review the nutrition-focused physical exam. There's so much you can learn about your patient's health and nutritional status through the skin exam. You may determine through the skin exam that your patient needs to go on a low glycemic impact diet. Or you may determine that you need to supplement their diet with extra vitamin A or essential fatty acids. You may also determine that you want to refer your patient to a nutritionist for further assessment and intervention. The skin is made up of the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis is the outer layer of the skin, and it's a very important protective barrier. The dermis, right under the epidermis, is made up of connective tissue, fat, lymph, blood, sebaceous glands, and hair follicles. The skin also includes your hair and your nails. The skin is a dynamic organ. Come with me so we can discover more about your patient's nutritional status through the skin. The most important piece of equipment that you need for your skin exam is your eyes. So it's important that you have proper lighting in your room and you're fully alert. Your sense of touch is also really important, so you'll be using your fingers a lot during your skin exam. You may also need gloves at some point during your skin exam. You'll want to have a ruler handy so you can assess a lesion and document it. And a camera so you can document lesions and keep them in the patient's chart for further reference. Magnification is also very helpful. You may want a magnifying glass or an episcope so you can see a lesion close up. To do the potassium hydroxide test to look for fungus, you're going to want to have two slides so you can scrape a lesion and some KOH so you can look for fungus. We also want to review proper draping. It's very important that your patient feel really comfortable during the skin exam because when you're doing a comprehensive skin exam, you're going to look at every aspect of the skin. For the purpose of this video, we're going to keep certain sensitive areas covered. But when you do your skin exam in your office, you want to properly drape your patient so they feel comfortable when you do their full skin exam. doing your skin exam, you want your patient to be fully draped so they feel very comfortable while you have access to look at all aspects of their skin. When you're doing the skin exam, you're often doing it when you're doing the full exam on the patient. So I have the patient often starting sitting. At times you'll have the patient laying down, but it's important you adjust the drapes so you can look at the upper extremities and the chest while making the patient feel comfortable. When you're looking at your le their legs, you also carefully adjust the drapes so they feel comfortable. I often have my patients stand so I have full access to their back and their legs in the back that, that we need to look at as well and often have them turn and look at their full front. It's important that you have your patient fully draped so they feel comfortable while you have access to all aspects of their skin. 